Hi everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I wanted to run through the new uh, 2025 Photoshop features that have been added and released recently, and in particular, the Remove tool. So I wanted to try this Remove tool uh, and run it through some of my photos and see how well it does. So join me and let's get started and see how this tool really, um, you know, really works uh, on, on my photos. Now to access the tool, all you, need, all you need to do is click on the Spot Healing tool, click and hold, and then go to the Remove tool section here. Once you do that, you'll get this dialog box, and the one you really want is this Find Distractions. Now you can click on, um, in this particular one, we're gonna look at the wires and cable in these couple of photos. So you can click on wires and cables, and what it does, it will select uh, the, the cables and wires in the photo. So I'm just going to let it run. It's going to take a bit of time. Obviously, it's AI, so it needs to uh, you know, go and check and come back to you. And that's the results there. That's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good result. It's removed all the cables and wires. So let me uh, undo it and see, and, uh, see how, it, how it did. So that's when, when you undo it. And then I want to redo it. And that's what it does there. Let's go to another photo, this one here again. I'm just gonna click on Find Distraction, Wires and Cables, and let's just see how well it does on this photo. I'm just gonna let the video run so you can actually see it in action. And there we go, that's actually did a pretty good job there. So let's go to another photo now. Now we're going to look at uh, at the other second option, and that's the people uh, option. So I'm going to do the auto select. I'm going to go to uh, click on people, and as you can see, it's selected where you can find people in the photo. Now I'm going to do a little bit more of a manual select, and I'm going to adjust the the, the brush size, and I'm going to select these people here in the corner here because it wasn't selected. And then I'm going to hit the tick bar, uh, um, the apply um, button. Now, depending on the photo, how complicated it is, and that'll depend on the speed of the action. There we go. That actually did a really good job. So let me un undo it and then redo it again. That actually did a really, really good job. Let's go to another photo now. And this time I'm going to manually select uh, uh, the, uh, the people in the photo. So I'm just going to make this brush a little bigger and I'm just going to select the people. Bear with me while I uh, do this process. And then I'm gonna hit the uh, apply button. It's still looking through it and trying to remove the people from this photo. There we go. Now, as you can see, the AI has obviously removed the majority of people and added some extra elements to it. So just to continue on, I'm just gonna select the additional um, items that have been added on. And I'm gonna hit the apply button now. So in this case, it didn't do a great job. It uh, removed majority, but added more. And here again, it's added another another element here. 
So I'm just going to select and, and got rid of it. Now, if I want to clean this up a little bit, I mean, I'm just going to quickly do this. So you can take your time and do yours. I'm just going to do a spot healing tool and remove certain elements or, you know, clean it up a little bit. And that's just my way of doing it. So this one, as you can see, it, it tried to do a good job. We just had to do it a few times to, uh, to, uh, to, get, the, to get the results we wanted. So I'm going to try another image now. And in this one, I'm going to do a manual select as well. So I'm just going to go to remove tool and select the people. I just want to see how well this tool will work on a long exposure photo. I might uh, undo that one and make the brush a little smaller. And then click on apply. It's obviously taking a bit of time because there we go. Now it's removed majority of the people, but it's added all these extra elements. So you could try to go through again and select the people. I'm just doing a quick rough for the purpose of this video. I mean, with your with your images, please take your time. I guess it's it's a fairly a new tool. A uh, new AI uh, tool, so it needs to, I guess, learn a bit more. And hopefully, in the coming months or years, it'll get better. So, let's see what this does. If not, I'm just going to move on to the next one because I, uh, for the purpose of this video, I don't want to take too much time on it. Should have taken a bit of time on this one. There we go. Yeah, it's it's obviously trying to do its best. Um, it can't, I guess, because of the long exposure, it can't distinguish between people. So it's it's doing its best to remove, and then it adds another element. But yeah, if you just keep going and maybe select parts of it. Let's let's see if I just select this part. Let's see if it'll remove. We can start by, you know, selecting small amounts rather than the full uh, amount of people, and see it slowly starts. You know, you can then you can slowly start to remove the people from the from the image. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a it's a matter of process. <laughs> Uh, it's going to take a bit of time to to enhance something like this kind of photo with with uh, long exposure. So let's go to another photo. Here's another one. I'm just going to select the the people on this one, and also I've noticed there are cables on this one as well. So I'm going to select the people first. Again, quick rough selection. And as you can see, there are some cables here. So I'm just going to select the cables. I wonder if I select the shoes. We'll get rid of the shoes as well. Let's take a look. Apply.
going through the process right now, so hopefully soon. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's not the best in the in the people's part of it, but what we can do is just select this additional person they've added. The AI has added on, and and uh, we'll come back to the rest up here at the top here with the cables. Again, it hasn't done a good job, so I'm just going to do it one more time. There we go. Again, not the greatest, but we keep going till we get rid of it all. There we go. Now, to, again, to clean it up, uh, I just use a spot healing tool brush just to clean this up. It's a quick, uh, a quick clean. Again, with your photo, take your time with it. It's going to clean up this pole here as well. There we go. One more photo, just to check out the cables and the people on this one as well. So I'm just going to go into the remove tool. Find distraction. I'm going to try. I'm going to do the wires and cables first. I'm I'm assuming the accuracy of this AI tool will depend in on the the quality of the photo as well. You know, is it overexposed? Is it underexposed? That uh, that kind of uh, Things will also affect that that AI with the final output. And as you can see, it removed the cables from there. Now I'm going to try the people here at the bottom here. I'm going to expand this a bit more. And I'm just going to go apply. There, it's, it's working on it right now. There we go. That is actually a pretty good job on that one. I mean, yes, you can, you might have to do some cleaning up, like for example, here, I don't know what that is. Again, rough clean. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you got something out of that. I hope you give this uh, tool a try. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear your comments below. I will always reply to all your comments. If you're new to my channel, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos like this to come soon. Thanks for watching.